Now let me tell you a little about Blessed Catherine Tekakwitha. She's now a blessed of the church, which means she's on her way to sainthood. We hope she'll soon be canonized. Catherine was the daughter of a Mohawk chief and an Algonquin mother. What was the Algonquin doing living with the Mohawks? She had probably been captured in a battle. Now they usually made slaves of their captors, but in this case the chief married this young lady. And they had a daughter named Catherine and she had a little brother. Now, Catherine's mother was a devout Catholic. She had lived up near the, the mission in Quebec. She was a devout Catholic, but she didn't get much chance to teach Catherine about the faith because when Catherine was only four years old, there was an epidemic of smallpox which killed her mother, her father, and her little brother. So, and Catherine was, was injured by it too. Her eyes were weakened and her face was pockmarked. So she was affected by it. I was brought up by an uncle and an aunt who didn't like the black robes or Christianity at all. When I was about 10 years old, three Jesuit missionaires came to my village and I took care of them, bringing them food. They were there only three days, but I learned about the Christian faith and wanted to become a Christian. Later, when another priest came, I asked him if I could be baptized. I was living then in Fonda, about six miles from Mosernenon, where three missionaries had been killed. I was baptized there on Easter Sunday, when I was 20. Some people in my village turned against me and mocked me for becoming a Christian. So I left there and went to the praying village, a village of Christian Indians across the river from Montreal. I made my first communion there. So three places have a claim on her. Ourselves because she was born here, Fonda because that's where she's in the greater part of her life, Fonda, and uh, Kanawaki, modern day Kanawaki, that's where she made her first communion, that's where she died. Now, shortly after she died, according to all the records, the pop marks left her face. It was very beautiful to behold. Now, she is now, therefore, a, a blessing of the church. We hope she will soon be called Saint Catherine. The martyrs and the holy ones of Arisville are remembered here by the many people, old and young, who come to pray and honor them. Here in the Colosseum, the great church at Orisville, they find the one who supported them Jesus Christ. The Christian heroes honored here are examples of God's grace shining through our human weakness. Isaac Jogues, John Lalonde, René Goupil, Kateri Tekawitha, show that God chooses the weak and makes them strong. They're the finest of the church's believers. They're witnesses to the power of faith. 